Hey everyone, it's Sammy with the Gliffy team at Perforce Software. I am really excited to show you how to use our data linking feature to pull information like the costs associated with this deployment directly into your diagram. So say this is something my team is just thinking about building. We're considering deploying everything this way. We have a estimate here from AWS that includes some of the major components in that diagram. So EC2, Elastic Block Store, and the Load Balancer. I have a monthly cost associated with each of those, a 12 month cost, and a cost per instance. I also have the total cost of the whole program that I estimated and the total 12 months cost. All of that right here in this estimate. What I'm going to do is I am going to either export this as a CSV or I can just copy and paste this data and I am going to add it to my diagram so I'm not context switching clicking back and forth by clicking on this data linking icon. From here I can add a new data set and I can either do a custom table, enter my own data, paste it in, or I could upload that CSV. So we're going to do custom table and click continue. And then just here in cell 1A, I am pasting all of my information in. You can see everything came in pretty nicely. Now, a quick plug. I'm going to dismiss this, but I don't want to forget to mention it. We are always looking for feedback on this feature. So you can click this Give Feedback button if you're using the feature and you have any ideas of what we can do to make it better, more valuable for your team, or if you run into something that's confusing or hard to use. Click that button, let me know. I review this every week. So I'm gonna dismiss that for now, clean up my screen a little bit. And I want to flow information about the cost of each of these elements onto my diagram. So like any of the shapes in our shape panel here, I am gonna do that by literally dragging and dropping the relevant cell. So the cost for each of those EC2 instances is about $40. I'm dragging and dropping it in. Nice and quick. I have the um, guidelines on as well, which makes it really easy to keep everything nicely aligned as I populate my diagram. And there we go, I've got each of those EC2 instances pulled in. Now this data gets populated into my diagram like text. So I can select all of these by holding shift and clicking on them. And then I can make it a larger size. So let's just do 14 and bold and I'm gonna make it red. All right, easy. Now let's do the EBS volumes. I'm going to move these up to make a little bit of space for that price. And those are $10.49 each per month. So again, we are dragging and dropping that value in here. All right. And then the load balancer is $57.31 per month. And I'm actually going to rename this to load balancer just so it's nice and labeled up top here all right and I'm gonna make these data points size 14 as well so again I am just holding shift while I select them you can see there is a slight underline um, or like a highlight under each of those that's letting us know that it's part of data that's included in the diagram and because I made that a little larger, I want to bump that down. So you can see how quickly I was able to populate that data from the table into the diagram without typing anything. I don't know about you guys, but I am really typo prone. So using this function for something like an org chart or a network diagram, where you have last names or names that you don't want to misspell or really long strings of numbers or information like a model number or a user ID is really, really helpful. It helps you keep your work super accurate. Now let's also add a little summary over here. So I'm going to click back into my shapes panel and I'm going to drag and drop out just a basic rectangle and say 
estimated monthly cost. And I want this to look nice, so I'm going to make it wider. I'm going to make the text a little bit bigger. I'm going to align it to the left, make it bold, and just nudge it over with a few spaces there. I know that's probably not best practice. I think something that looks really nice too when you do stuff like this is to remove the stroke. All right, so here we have our estimated monthly cost. Let's make this even a little bit larger. Okay, and then I'm going to do Command D to duplicate it. And we're just also going to add the estimated annual cost. And I can jump back to my table. Here's my estimated monthly cost. And here's my total 12 months cost. And let's style these nicely as well. I'm going to make them even bigger. And something that I'm noticing in these is I don't have dollar signs. I, I was a little sloppy in my spreadsheet. So I've dragged and dropped these data points into my diagram. I can actually go and right here edit this cell to add that dollar sign. And you can see it automatically updates on the side of my diagram as well making it a little bit easier to read. So I can get that stylized exactly how it makes the most sense. And let's make these bold. And that is looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and give this a name with costs. And now I can go ahead and save this, publish this on my Confluence page. And when I go to discuss, the opportunity of building everything this way. We have clear context on how much different things cost. So you can go and you can have a really informed discussion. Well, do we think we need all three of these availability zones? Or do we think we could get by with just two? Because that would save us about $70 a month. Having that type of strategic conversation gets a lot easier when you have all of this type of data at your fingertips. Now, I want to highlight one other thing. Let's say, back to my spreadsheet here, the monthly cost of this uh, elastic block store is actually going to get more expensive. Let's say it's going to be $40. You can see that updates my 12-month cost. It updates my um, cost per instance. I didn't set it up appropriately, so this will be the sum of each of these monthly costs and that corrected my total 12 month cost as well. So let's say I need to make this correction now in my diagram. I can simply take all of this again, recopy it and repaste it and you can see it automatically updated the cost here the cost here and the cost here without me having to drag and drop a single additional cell. So I am so excited about what this means for our customers because when I talk to people, they say, Sammy, we are using Gliffy as a source of truth for our teams and we are documenting some pretty complicated stuff. One of the most important things that we can do to support these customers is make it really easy to keep their diagrams updated. So you can see all I had to do was repaste that information from my spreadsheet and it held on to each of those relationships between the cell and that text box, making it so easy for me to update this in just one click. Now I'm going to save this and hop back to Confluence so you can see what it looks like on page, but it's basically like any other Glyphy diagram. So it's just hanging out on the page right here for anyone to reference. You can check this out full screen as well. And this is going to help you have that really productive conversation about the concept, how you want to build it, and how much it's going to cost to build that out. 
This is great for a lot of other use cases too. Imagine being able to flow your data on top of a process diagram or pull in all of the names and job titles and structure for your org chart into your diagram without typoing anyone's name. Um, lots of great use cases. We believe this is going to save our customers a lot of time when it comes to capturing all that detail that fuels your diagrams. So I'm really excited to bring this feature to you. I hope you enjoy using it and I can't wait to hear how you are using it. Be sure to let us know there's that give feedback button right there in the product as you get started. Thank you.